Hello, and thank you parents, friends, family members, staff, and trustee members for listening. Yes, unfortunately, there will be no attending our graduation, and as far as a graduation speech, we can only listen. I am Amy Swall, and as hard as it has been to accept that we will not be having a traditional graduation, we are challenged to keep this pandemic in perspective. The class of 2020 is no stranger to adversity. Most of us were born in the year of the 9-11 tragedy, and now we graduate high school under even more unprecedented times. We are resilient, and I would like to share with you some insight on how talented this flock of 2020 truly is. There is so much I can tell you about our class. I'm choosing to do this using one of my favorite acronyms, H-A-W-K, which of course spells hawk. Let's start with the letter H. Well, of course, the first H word that comes to mind is hawk. It's the best letter of my acronym because it includes every single one of us. Another H is my brilliant homecoming partner, who is the first hawk ever to attend Harvard University. And speaking of homecoming, our seniors were so creative with their floats as we humbly represented our clubs and class. We have helped to strengthen the heart of our community through Harvesting Hope, where we've harvested agriculture products for those in need. Hawk Highlight was created on social media, and of course, our class helped others through our Student Safety Committee, Mission Oaks Closet, our Have Heart Community Service Club, and ASV's many charitable contributions. Next up, A. There is always something great to talk about when discussing the Hawks. The A in Hawks truly represents our academic and athletic contributions to Mission Oak. In academics, this class shined. From AP classes to all the academic contests, we represented so well. This includes Mock Trial, Science Olympiad, CSF, and FFA, just to name a few. In athletics, we brought home numerous EYL League championships and several CIF divisional titles, including the first ever Valley Championship in girls tennis. Now, W, wow, just wow. What a wild ride we've been on. It's hard not to wonder what our final semester as a Hawk would have looked like. Would our softball, baseball, boys golf, boys tennis, track and swim teams brought home EYL or Valley championships? Would our backwards dance and prom been wonderful? And I wonder what wins our FFA students would have had. We can wish things to have been different, but regardless of all the accolades and achievements on record, we know that the class of 2020 is wonderful. And finally, K. I can't forget to mention how the drama department kept us entertained with their keen production of The Little Mermaid. But when I think of one K word, it keeps coming to mind. It's simply the word kind. Beyond how our seniors helped on campus or in our community, we helped each other to become the best versions of ourselves. We came together as kindred spirits to be what Mission Oak stands for. Three cities, one family, or kinfolk. I just shared how the letters that spell out Hawk represent this amazing class. The truth is, you could pick any letter of the alphabet and easily find words that reflect the character and quality of this class. Yes, the next few months and first small steps of our future are out of our hands. But rest assured, there is nothing that the Mission Oak class of 2020 can't handle. We will be a hawk forever, and regardless of the struggle, we will make you proud. We will. Be strong, be smart, be kind, be a hawk. How things have changed. It seems like just yesterday I was a freshman, entering high school with fear and nervousness, unsure of what the future might bring. I would never have been able to imagine the friendships that I'd make, the lessons I'd learn, or the community I'd find here at Mission Oak. It wasn't always easy. There were some times where I was stressed and wasn't sure how I'd make it through to the end. But I did. We all did. And to that I say, congratulations. 
I used to think that I was like a butterfly, having blossomed out of my childhood into my teenage years. But it is only now that I realize this whole time I have been the caterpillar. I still have a long road ahead of me, a metamorphosis I have yet to make. But I am confident that I will make that metamorphosis along with all of you, and we will thrive. We are a class of great changes. Every year we've had a different bell schedule. From two hour blocks and late start Fridays, to half, half day Wednesdays, to eight one hour 28 minute classes, to one hour 30 minute classes with 8.30 starts. We've had to adapt every single year. We've also been the first class for many different great experiences. The first class to experience Common Core, the first to not have the great oak tree that graced the outside of our school, the first to receive personal Chromebooks, the first to graduate in the face of a national pandemic. In all that we have done, we have had to be brave and lead the way for those that come after us. In times like now of uncertainty, fear, and disunity, it is crucial that we continue to be brave and lead the way for those after us. I have made so many great memories during my time here at Mission Oak High School. Whether it was going to a group study session for chemistry, to my first home playoff football game, building homecoming floats, or going to my first real high school dance, the memories that I have made have been priceless. And while I may have not been able to go to my senior prom, or speak live in front of the audience at the graduation that I've waited for since my childhood, I cherish every little experience that I've been given because the experiences of today are the memories of the future. And I know that in the future, I will cherish the memories I've made during my time at Mission Oak High School. I want to thank everyone who has helped me get to the point where I am today. I would never have accomplished all that I have without the help from my family, friends, and teachers without the help from my counselors who guide me along the way, without the help for the security guards, for the office staff, for the bus drivers, for the cafeteria workers, for all the Mission Oak staff and faculty who have made every day a great one, for the, for the advisors and the coaches, for everyone, I say thank you. What seems like a long time ago, I gave a speech in front of an audience nervous but excited for the future that I had. It was then that I gave a piece of advice that I think still applies today. Class of 2020, I give you advice straight from the words of Shakespeare's Hamlet. To thine own self be true, and it must follow as the day, the night, thou canst not then be false to any man. Class of 2020, it's been good, but it's time to fly. The future in a metamorphosis awaits.
Hello, my name is Michelle Borges, and I'm the principal of Mission Oak High School. I would first like to recognize Mr. Todd Peterson on behalf of the staff and students of Mission Oak High School. I would like to thank Mr. Peterson for his 28 years of service, dedication, and devotion, and 10 years of growing the love and language and culture of our Hawks. Congratulations, Mr. Peterson. We wish you wonderful years of retirement. Now, a message to the class of 2020. For the seniors whose faces and smiles I dearly miss on campus, every year for graduation, I coordinate the commencement ceremony with each of the speakers, singers, band, and other presentations. I spend time recognizing the accomplishments that many of the seniors have made in academics, sports, and many other clubs and programs. Well, this year is not like any other. While many seniors in the class of 2020 have done some amazing things, the reality is many did not have the chance to shine as bright as they might have given the opportunity to participate in the usual spring programs and events. This year, I would like to honor the 10th graduating class from Mission Oak High School as a whole community. We are three cities, yet one family. In a family unit, whether blood or chosen family, everyone plays their role, every role is significant, and each member is unique, each member is valuable. For Mission Oak, each hawk has his or her greatness. Currently, the world is going through a pandemic and our leaders are challenged to make all the best possible decisions for the people they serve. They are leading us through many unknowns and working hard to gather facts, look at historical data, find solutions that cause the least burden, and yet our families keep our families safe and healthy. They don't always get it right, but they oftentimes do. Whether or not being separated, quarantined, or isolated has been the best method or not may never truly be known, but it has been our reality over the past few months. I truly hope during this time that you have tried to find a silver lining, the positives in the gloomy times. While you've been separated from friends and social events, I hope you have taken time to reflect on who you are and who you want to be. I hope you have learned that getting up each day and self-regulation will be important as you move into adulthood. I hope you have put your electronic devices down and have been able to avoid social pressures that tempt you to make choices you wouldn't otherwise. As I was thinking about all of you, beautiful seniors the other day, I thought of you being a caterpillar, isolated in your cocoon, and experiencing a metamorphosis. And I visualized how gorgeous you will be the day you emerge from these difficult times, not just as a butterfly, but as a hawk soaring above, finding your greatness, loving each other through our differences, and building a better world. I love you all, and I wish the class of 2020 the best future ever. Congratulations. Graduates, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly introduce to you the 10th Mission of High School graduating class, the class of 2020. Graduates, you may turn your tassels.